Jean-Claude Junckers chief of staff, Martin Selmer, was an EU zealot determined to punish Britain for leaving the bloc, unearthed reports claim. The latest round of negotiations between the EU and the UK broke up last week, with both sides citing significant differences once again. Brussels claimed it was still working constructively, but suggested that Britain's top negotiator David Frost had failed to make the necessary concessions. European Commission spokesman Daniel Ferry said, the EU is acting constructively and in good faith, as Michel Barnier pointed out earlier this week. We are working hard to overcome the significant divergences that remain between us. Meetings will continue in Brussels next week and the next round of negotiations will take place in the week of July 20 in London. Asked if there were positives from this week's talks, Mr. Ferry added, My answer will be very, very short there. We are working towards an agreement. Prime Minister Boris Johnson has been adamant that he will not allow the discussions to drag on into the autumn, arguing that British businesses and citizens need certainty on the way forward before then. This means that if the two sides are unable to reach a deal by the end of the current Brexit transition period, Britain will leave the single market and the customs union without any agreement on future access and will trade with the bloc on World Trade Organization WTO terms. As the clock ticks down, unearthed reports reveal how in 2017, the chief of staff of former EU Commission President Jean-Claude Juncker, Martin Selmer, was determined to punish Britain for leaving the bloc in the negotiations. A throwback report by The Telegraph claimed Mr. Selmar's fearsome reputation was summed up by many nicknames, including Darth Vader, Rasputin and the Monster. Ministers were said to be particularly concerned about his links to the higher echelons of the German government. He was a member of Mrs. Merkel's Christian Democratic Union Party, and friends with Peter Altmaier, her chief of staff. Mr. Selmer was not a personal friend of Mrs. Merkel but Ian Duncan Smith, the former Conservative leader, believed he was trying to manipulate the German Chancellor into taking a tough line on Brexit Britain.